I was not formed in America's churning cultural crucible. I did not grow up there, and I'm not sure that I can ever truly be an American since I will never understand the game of baseball. Hello and welcome to the Africa News Network. Art humanizes. It goes below the surface. But we also live in a world in which the nation state dominates, in which the value the world gives us as human beings can be determined by the passports we carry. To travel with a Nigerian passport is to constantly confront the sneering disbelief of immigration officers when I say I am a writer. It is to be asked to step aside for more questions. It is to feel that you are guilty of something. But of course, citizenship goes beyond a mere passport. It is a sensibility. A sensibility, I think, that is often shaped by where one's formative years are spent. While I have a great affection for America and live part-time in America and have come to consider it a second home, I was not formed in America's churning cultural crucible. I did not grow up there, and I'm not sure that I can ever truly be an American since I will never understand the game of baseball. <laughs> not, sort of like cricket. <laughs> Citizenship for a person like me for, from a country like Nigeria in a continent like Africa is not just a sensibility, it is also a condition. A condition that arises from being what I like to call inhabitants of the periphery. And what do I mean by this? I'm not merely referring to political expressions like third world, but to the phenomenon of being outside the center in ways more subtle than mere politics, in ways metaphysical and psychological. I do not merely mean, I do not mean merely having what Chino Achebe called a history of the dispossessed, but also inheriting and experiencing as an essential part of one's personal history an accumulation of uncertainties, or to borrow from the title of the Zimbabwean writer Sitsi Dangeremba's novel, A Nervous Condition. We are people conditioned by our history and by our place in the world to look towards somewhere else for validation. We are conditioned to learn a lot of untruths and half-truths about who we are, and some of us make the choice to consciously unlearn these but even the very act of unlearning takes on a colonial coloration and feeds into our nervous condition. We are conditioned by the knowledge that we come from a place that has long been derided. If I walked into an average classroom in any Western country and asked the students to tell me what comes to mind when I say Africa, at best the answer would be something about safaris and beautiful zebras. At worst, it would be the usual stock images of poverty and war and helplessness. We are conditioned by this knowledge. What this conditioning results in, I think, is a curious mix of defensiveness and aspiration. Now, among Nigerians, complaining about our problems is an art form. Most conversations quickly become a litany of complaints about government corruption, no light, no water etc. But if a foreigner were to say the same things, to recite the same litany of complaints, Nigerians would become defensive, sometimes angrily so. I have always been curious about this brand of defensiveness, which I myself often exhibit, by the way. It seems to me that we have it because we assume that the complaining Nigerian is aware that Nigeria is not only about its problems is aware of the human complexity, knows of the intelligence and ingenuity of people, knows how they cry and laugh, knows what motivates them and what they aspire to and what they find meaningful. And we suspect that the foreigner does not know these other stories about us, and so we worry about being defined solely by what we do not have and by what we are not. And so our defensiveness emerges. Linked to this defensiveness is a certain aspiration. The same Nigerian who is angry about a foreigner writing or talking about our problems in a one-dimensional way will be thrilled when that same foreigner says something good about us or admits one of ours into some esteemed foreign rank. It would have to be a foreign rank in the so-called West, of course. 
which is where our education conditions us to look toward for validation.